హాయ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఇస్ కృష్ణ వందనపు ఎ బిజినెస్ అప్లికేషన్స్ ఎంబీపీ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో వీ విల్ లర్న్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ అ మోడల్ డ్రివెన్ యాప్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ మోడల్ డ్రివెన్ యాప్ అండ్ హౌ టు కస్టమైజ్ ద ఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ హౌ వీ కెడ్ డూ ద నావిగేషన్ బిట్వీన్ ద స్క్రీన్స్ ఇన్ మోడల్ డ్రివెన్ యాప్ యాజ్ ఇట్ సేస్ ఇన్ ది టైటిల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్యూర్లీ అ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ సెషన్ ఫర్ మోడల్ డ్రివెన్ యాప్స్ in power apps umbrella so when you come to uh, power apps maker portal and when you click on create and click on a blank app under the blank app there are three type of options we have one is a canvas app and the second one is model driven app which purely runs on dataverse and the third one is power pages website so as it clearly says blank app based on dataverse means that model driven app only runs on top of dataverse if your data source is anything other than dataverse unfortunately you cannot create a model driven app however if you want to create a model driven app which you have a sql database or oracle database as an underlayer you can create a api and create a custom connector and use model driven app with custom pages now when you click on create for the second option it immediately ask you what is the name of the model driven app before we create a model driven app so the basic approach or basically why we use model driven app is people who are not very fond of ui and but they are only more interested in functionality business process orientation that is when we will create model driven app what are the advantages when you use model driven app the performance is eye blinking and all the functionalities and filters galleries views everything is out of the box you do not have to create anything and also the customization is any citizen developer or anyone who know only plain english can implement this however if the user want to do any additional customization out of the box you can always implement with the help of javascript yes there is a catch when you have to implement with the javascript you might need to have a basic knowledge on javascript implementation however it is not that fully tech dependent now i'm going to create a app as coffee machines as part of our curriculum we are using coffee machines database which is provided by microsoft as part of app in a day so we are using same data source and we have already learned how to create a app with the help of that database a canvas app now we are leveraging the same tables which is mission types as one table and the other one is coffee machines as the other table those two tables we have already created as part of dataverse and now we are going to leverage those two tables and we are going to create a model driven app and followed by that give some description this is a model driven app to perform all admin operations advanced under advanced use uh, components from custom solution no we are not going to use any custom solutions at this minute so i'll say create so what it will do is it will create a basic model driven app framework as a skeleton after that we can add all the tables which we want to associate as part of this model driven app and the beauty is when you are creating model driven app the time to create model driven app is very 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 minimal all you need to do is you need to have all the prerequisites ready which is all your custom tables permission model which is security roles all those things have to be ready now if you see here it created my model driven app and also the default icon provided for this model driven app is default icon or if you want to browse for any other you can always browse a web browser icon by clicking on the select icon and these are all various out of the box icons microsoft is providing for now for as a demonstration i'm just using default icon and this is the default icon we get for model driven app now what i wanted to do 
I want to create a custom page or I want to associate my model driven app with a custom table that you can decide by clicking on new. When you click on new, it will ask you, hey, what you wanted to do? You want to associate a Dataverse table or a dashboard, which is a Power BI dashboard and a URL, which you wanted to associate as part of your app. You can provide that as a navigation, as part of a navigation, it will come. And also web resources could be a JavaScript, could be a image, could be any other, which are not part of your application or which not part of your uh, tenant as of that, that minute or environment as of that minute and last but not least custom page. What is a custom page? Let's understand custom page in a minute. A custom page is a cloned baby of Canvas app. What is a clone baby? When you see the custom page, it gives you a rich UI, but it runs on top of model driven app. I repeat, a custom page is a cloned baby of canvas app in my vocabulary the microsoft says like it is as similar as canvas app so since it is as similar as canvas app i'm using a word called clone baby of canvas app and it gives you a very rich ui to perform all your crud operations c r u d create read update and delete that's the major uh, objective of creating the custom pages are in model driven apps. Again, it looks like as a canvas app and you can add many screens and you can and you can convert your entire model driven app into a canvas app with the help of custom page. But is it recommended? Definitely not recommended. So when you are creating custom page on top of model driven app, try your custom pages only for your data operations but never ever implement galleries inside this custom pages because out of the box galleries or the list views of model driven app are high performant when you compare with galleries inside a canvas app now let's go back and add the data was tables as part of your model driven app when you say that it will show you all the tables which you have access under that environment. Now I'm going to say coffee. So these are all the two tables I want to associate. The beauty is I can associate more than one table or for that matter, if the table is not there, you can also create a new, a new dataverse table then and there and you can associate that. And this show in navigation means if you want to show these two tables as part of your NEFT navigation or not, I will say add because I want to show those two as, as part of the left navigation, which is nothing but this. This is the way we will associate the tables to the model driven app. Beauty is the app is ready. You're done creating model driven app. What is the very important aspect we have to remember in case of implementing model driven apps is each and every change you will have to publish. Similarly, the way how you need to take care when you are working with the data was tables, views and all the lookup columns when you are creating, updating, you need to publish the solution. Same way, you need to ensure that you are publishing. Once you publish, your app is ready. So let's let it go. And once it get published, your app is ready. And once the app is ready, you will see the app as like this. So now that we complete finishing uh, publishing. Now come back to make.powerapps.com and under apps, you will see one model driven app under your name. Come back to apps. This is the model driven app. How do I differentiate this app is a model driven app or canvas app at a glance is the icon. If the icon is coming with a spare icon, that is a model driven app. If the icon is with the brush icon or a pencil icon, that is canvas app. So select that play here. So now we have created a fresh model driven app using these two tables. There you go. See this, this app is ready. And once the app is ready, what are the other operations we could do is we can perform all the data operations out of the box. When you click on new, it will let you add a new machine. There you go. In order to do this first step, first step, what you need to do is you need to update your 
form uh, as part of that table then only you can see all these fields which we will see in a minute and once you say once you enter all the details it will add a new mission so when you notice here i have provided one web url here because i wanted to show one particular image for my uh, coffee mission type and the price is $1500 and the mission type is this and mission type id is 1 now when i click on save it only saves when i click on save and close it will save and close this new form also now out of the box we are able to add the details within no time now when you come here edit the columns and if i do not want to show the columns which are out of the box you can always just remove the columns within no time without any additional efforts so this is how user can manipulate their view like the way they want then and there and also if they want to interchange these columns very easily they can click on edit columns and they can just drag and drop like the way they want it now come here mission id mission type and mission name followed by mission name and the description just move that to top and come here new to older and now when it comes here we can see mission added using model driven app this is the one we have added right and how we get if i want to edit that just double click on that it automatically takes the record in the edit mode now if i want to update that now i want to correct my spelling mission and i'll say hyphen update now i'll say again save and close it will automatically update the user detail sorry record details and also it retain my filter okay and when i go back i can see my updated details on top of that record and also there is something called deactivate and delete what is the difference between these two in data hours there is one property called status flag for each and every record if the status is active means the value is active and if it is deactive means the value will go to false true and false now when I just deactivate it and it will give you a confirmation, I'll say deactivate. By default, model driven app will give you two views of each and every table. One is active records and the other one is inactive records. And look at here, once the record is inactive, everything become the read only. Because it is inactive record, you cannot perform any operations. If you want to perform any operations on this record, first you need to activate that record. Okay. And look at here. This is what we call it as a view. Now, the reason why we see a star here is because we added some columns and positioned the columns like the way we wanted. It is not out of the box. We uh, and me as a user, I have changed the way how I want to see the columns as part of my view. Now come here see this inactive coffee missions when i go to that view i can see the record which is inactivated and see here i don't see the columns by default here because we have not customized that view in order to do that what you need to do is you need to go back to your solution level so where is my solution go back to solutions so to create model driven app best practices you should create a solution which we have already done, which is SVKP 2024 batch. After that, under this, we have coffee mission. Go to that coffee mission. Under coffee, when we go here, there is something called views here. Go to views. And it default shows inactive coffee mission as a public view, active coffee mission as a public view. These two are the public views. So what we see those views as part of the drop down over here. Now, what I wanted to do, I want to customize my inactive view. Select that, edit in new tab. And when you go there, it will show you the default view of that, the default view of that view. Now I see only these two columns. I don't want this. So I can select that and remove it. And I can just, all what we need to do is we need to just drag and drop the columns. Mission ID followed by mission name followed by mission uh, description so on and so forth you can add any number of columns as you want once you are done there is one as save as you can create a view with this uh, template 
in order to do that we will uh, make use of save as or if you want to finalize your changes and make this as a view to all the users who are using the model driven app save and publish what it will do is it will publish this app to the rest of the world now it got published now come back here it will take probably 10 to 20 seconds just to refresh with that uh, updated view at times it will come immediately also so let let's give one or two refreshes there it is now if you see the inactive view earlier it did not show mission id mission name description on all those columns because we added as part of this view it started showing over here that is how you can customize the view but what if i want to change my uh, form how could i do that because when you see here when i come onto new i see do not modify do not modify do not modify columns also there as part of my farm and also owner is coming on, on top of the farm i do not want that owner should come at the end how could i do that so in order to do that again go back to your solution under the solution to that particular table go to the farms the main form is what is that form select that ellipsis go edit in new tab under the new tab once you see here once you get into this view you will see all the columns whatever you see while you are entering the new or updating the record so you can select field and just say delete it will just go out of that form delete and delete and this one i do not want as the first field rather i want as the last field so you can always just drag and drop wherever you want that field to be appear that's how we can drag and drop that field but if you notice here this looks to be a very big form how could i make it more user friendly or more interactive so you can always change the column orientation to one column or a two column orientation now i'll say two column orientation it automatically gives you a provision for you to just add one more field right next to it there you go you can always just say like this now what happened the entire form became like a two by two matrix just before it was like one one column now it became like two 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 fields in one row now the size of the form became very small and it is very user friendly to the user while they are providing the details now we'll say save and publish once it once it get published come back here and give just two three refreshes it automatically picks up the updated form view there it is it took around 10 seconds to pick up the new view and now look at it, look at the way how the uh, orientation of the fields here now it is it became like a 2 by 2 so that is how we can quickly customize and add the forms as part of uh, the model driven app and here also if you do not want to see permanently you can always go to the same view of the uh, particular table and change the view and remove the columns whatever the columns you do not want as part of that you can also implement filters on top of the same view while you are creating the view itself okay probably we will cover all those in the next sessions here is my contact if you like the video hit like and add your comment i am highly available in twitter and linkedin subscribe to my youtube channel for all future notifications have a nice day thank you